Thursday morning. And it's a completely different day to yesterday. Yesterday it was all foggy, wet and miserable. And look at it now. The sun is out again. The pups are enjoying a nice little morning walk. Which, thanks Bentley. We're just on our way back. We've been out for about three quarters of an hour. Got lots to do today, so I want them both tired so that they sleep for the rest of the day. What's Nippy doing? He's having a good sniff out of something. Come on, Sniffy Nippy. Come on, baby. That's it, good lad. Go on then, off you go. Come on, mush. Imshi, imshi. No, not having it today. Oh dear. So you may remember last Wednesday, last week's vlog, that I had my COVID jab and flu jab at the same time. This morning, feeling horrible. Didn't sleep very well at all last night, but I'm sure it'll subside in a few days. I've recently discovered Timu through Ian, of course, because Ian buys a lot of his bits and bobs um, from Timu for making his steampunk machines, um, components, LED lights, um, switches, that kind of thing. And I thought I'd have a little look myself to see if there was anything kind of arts and craftsy on there. He's bought me a few bits and pieces from there before in the past. The um, potion labels, the Halloween potion labels, he, about 50 in a pack that he got me from team a while ago. So I thought, I just wonder what else is on there as well. Um, equipment wise, not necessarily buying papers and that kind of stuff, because I am aware that the Chinese do have a, a kind of blatant disregard for copyright. So whenever I see a stencil on Timu or a, a set of um, papers, uh, I'm just, I always have in the back of my mind, I wonder where they've got the design from for that, because I doubt that it's original. Um, so I try to stay away from that kind of thing. But from um, like pieces of equipment, punches, that kind of thing, um, you can't really go wrong, can you? So I thought I would treat myself, and I've always wanted a rotary cutter, so I bought myself one. Um, it says high quality, all one word, high quality, not two, all one word. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'll give it a go. Um, it was fairly inexpensive. It was less than five pounds. Um, but I also bought two packs of replacement blades for it as well. Um, and it's one of those ones that's got like a safety handle so you can lock it so that you don't accidentally cut yourself with it and you just push the button to release the blade and then you squeeze the handle and it comes out so no blade squeeze the handle the blade comes down and then when you let go again it retracts back for safety and you can lock it back off again so I thought well you know it's got all those nice little safety features I've seen some that don't even have the handle it's just you know the trigger and the blade is just you know out there if you like and you could probably cut yourself and that kind of thing and because i'm clumsy and um, because look i even managed to burn myself on my heat gun the other day <laughs> i know just, for some strange reason um so because i'm clumsy i thought i'll get the ones with those kind of like safety features in there so i ordered it like i said it was less than five pounds um, two lots of blades. So I've got another set of 10 blades when this blunts. I'm not sure how long the blades will last for. Um, particularly or how good it was. Well, I didn't know how good it was. So I ordered it. Uh, and it arrived. And I tested it. And it didn't work. Um, so I kind of slackened the blade a little bit. Because um, it wasn't turning. So I had to adjust and adjust and adjust to get it to work. Um, and then it finally did work. And then I realized that with a rotary cutter, it only works one, well, this one only works in one direction. If you 
put, try and push it, it doesn't work, it just skids. But if you try and pull it, then it does work. Which again is another kind of like added safety feature, I suppose, um, because you're less likely to skid off and, and run it over your fingers if you're doing a controlled pull towards you. Um, so I tried it on um, cutting some of my packaging for my stencils for some website orders. And I did it, so I put the paper down on my glass cutting mat and then I cut one way and then I turned it and then I cut another and then I did turned it around and I cut the other and it didn't cut. And then when I checked, the blade's completely blunt. You could actually ride, as Ian's mum used to say, you could ride, ride bare ass to London on it. It's just, so like three attempts and the, the blade's blunt. So I suppose the old adage is true, isn't it? Buy cheap, buy twice. <laughs> I won't drop it in the rubbish. I will, I'll keep it because you never know. Um, it may come in useful when I want to do some fabric because I suppose that's really what it's meant for. It's a fabric cutter, really, rather than a card cutter. So I'll probably keep it for when I'm cutting fabric for books, um, for book covers, that kind of thing. And I'll just put it with my book cloth and I'll put the spare blades with it too. Um, I also ordered a few other punches um, as well. Um, I ordered a, a mushroom punch. Um, it cuts out like a little mushroom thing on the side of your paper. It's like putting those little plastic discs in for binding. Um, I just like the effect. I can just go along the edge and just create a kind of like a deckle edge, if you like. Um, so yeah, so that was my recent Timu purchase. I also bought some trousers too, um, but that's another story. So Karen's come for a lunch because it was a birthday last week, but she was away on a cruise. Mm. Mm. So she's having birthday lunch with us now. So we've just had lunch and now it's cake time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my Karen. Happy birthday to you. We can't have candles because it's a fire hazard at her age. Why? Oh. <laughs> Funnily enough, that's what the man said in the shop. <laughs> She said, she's, is that okay, Karen? Is that enough for you? Yeah, but they're more than enough, thank you, yeah. The guy in the, the, the shop said to me, Why can't you use this? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to put candles on it? I went, no. No. It's, it's a fire hazard. Rude! Completely <laughs> <laughs> rude. Yummy. Wow. Oh. Do you want squirt of cream? No, thank you. No? No, no cream at all? No, I only want the skull. Oh, no, yeah. Is that enough for you there, Steve? Got a shovel it in. Yes, and, and yeah, Karen's yeah. got a shovel for a spoon. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. So it's Monday afternoon. I've just finished lunch. Got back from Mum and Dad's um, a bit later than usual today because a <laughs> bit of a strange day, really. Mum was in a really weird kind of place today. Um, Dad phoned me first thing this morning um, and said, you know, had you, said, had you planned on taking Mum out today? And I said, well, no, we hadn't really planned on anything. Nothing had, had been, you know, discussed about going out. I said, why, why does she think she's going? So he said, well, she seems to think that you're taking her to the wool shop to get some wool. I said, well, no, we had, definitely hadn't discussed that. I would have remembered that. Um, so he said, well, she's upstairs getting ready. So I said, well, I'll tell you what, just leave her, let her get ready. And when I arrive, I'll just act as though we had planned it, we had arranged it, and I'll just take her to the wool shop. No problem. The shop's open on a Monday morning. It's Wednesdays at the close, so it's not an issue. So that's the way we kind of left it. And I got in the car and I drove over to Mum and Dad's. And when I walked in, Mum's there, um, ready. She's got a handbag and her shoes on. And I just said, right, OK, are we ready to go then? So she said, well, did you want to do any shopping or anything? So I said, well, I do. I said, but I can always do it when we get back from doing, you know, the wool shopping. I said, I need to go to Fox Valley, which is a local retail outlet, um, like a little shopping mall, not too far away from where mum and dad live. Um, I said, because I'd need to stock up on dog food and dog treats because we're really, really low. So she said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. We'll we'll go to Fox Valley, we'll, you know, do your shopping and stuff, and then we'll go straight to the wool shop, straight to Pauline's wool shop. Well, the Fox Valley is at one side of town, 
it's kind of like southwest, whereas the wool shop's northeast, so <laughs> right the way on the other side of the town. So I said, yeah, okay. I just thought I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say, well, you know, no, because I'd still have to go to the wool shop and back and then to Fox Valley and back. So I'm kind of passing anyway, so it's not really that much of an issue. Um so we got in the car and we started driving towards Fox Valley. And just as we arrived and we're going down, because it's on it's at the bottom, of, it's in a valley, so we arrive at the top of the the top of the valley, the hill. And as we're doing the slow decline down the road into the bottom of the valley, she looked at me and she said, What are we coming here for? And I said, because I need to get some dog food. She said, What have I come for? What do I need any shopping? And I said, No, you've just come for the ride. Oh, all right. Well, I might as well just stay in the car then. So I just said, oh, okay, fine, no problem. So we got down, parked up, and I got out of the car and went and did my dog food and dog treat shopping and left her in the car. <laughs> and then got back to the car after doing the shopping, got to the car, and she said, well, that was a waste of time. So I said, what was a waste of time? So she said, well, me coming with you. So I said, well, it was your suggestion. <laughs> you suggested it. You didn't have to come with me. So I said, right, come on, let's go to let's go to Paulins and you can spend some wool in the wool shop. So we drove all the way back over, all the way over to the wool shop. And just as we were parking up in the car park near to the wool shop, she says, after we've been here, we might as well go back to your house and have lunch. So I said, OK. You see, after a certain point, you, you stop arguing. <laughs> or stop trying to reason um and i just went yeah all right no worries we'll we'll go back to our house and we can have lunch with ian and <laughs> i'll just take you home afterwards which is why i'm normally back home for like half 12 um today it was half past two so you know these things happen these things happen and you've just got to go with the flow on days like that you just have to go with the flow <laughs> ready well then, so it's Tuesday today, and um, don't ask me what the date is, I've absolutely got no idea. 17th maybe? Um, Ian's not gone to work today. He's supposed to, well he usually does Tuesdays and Thursdays, but um, instead this week, they've shuffled his days around, so he's doing um, Thursday, Friday, which is nice. So I get him for all week, practically. Um, but he's just gone out. He's gone to the post office to do some website orders. Are you coming back or not? Come on, bring him back. No, I think that's going to be it. So he's gone to the post office, as I was saying, to do website orders. Um, and then he's off to do some errands, which is nice because he doesn't normally get to do errands on a Tuesday. So, and I also get a bit of extra peace and quiet. <laughs> peace and quiet to do my own website orders. So I've got half a dozen or so website orders. Um, I've got some of the porthole kits to pack up, some of the four and a half inch journal kits to pack up, and also some of the the big book corners. Um, well, I say big, the, the, the smaller of the two sets of book corners. Um, I was planning on filming this morning, but seeing as Ian's here, <laughs> that's going to be virtually now and impossible. So I'm going to get these website orders ready to go to the post office tomorrow. Um, I'm going to prepare my, um, I've got everything ready for the Harvest Halloween flip flop journal. So all the um, digi downloads are ready. I just have to sort out the, the artwork for the website. And I've printed, printed off everything in readiness for filming. Um, but I'm also working on a little bit of a, personal project at the moment as well. Um, I'm designing a, a pen pot for my desk. I know you can just go out and buy them for pens, um, but this one's a bit special. Yeah, some of you may recognise it. Um, the actual bit that goes on the top, I haven't glued on yet, but I'll just... <laughs> I've only done two sides so far, but yeah, 
Isn't that cute? A fabulous little pen pot. All designed by me. <laughs> well, not designed by me. The, the, the laser kit was designed by me. The actual design of the police box is very, very old. 1930s, I think. <laughs> but there you go. La -de 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 -do. <sighs> it's Wednesday the eighteenth. And uh, approaching 9.20 in the morning. Um, shopping day. Shopping day today. Um, the fog's lifted. It was a bit foggy yesterday. But it's still cold. Temperature out there is currently 11 degrees centigrade. 51 Fahrenheit. It's a weak kind of watery light and warmth today, but there's that nip and chill in the air. And so this morning, I've got to go and pick up Mum's new medication from the pharmacy, which we're still doing the weekly thing until she's had this pre-diabetes blood test thing next week, which is a but like I said, bit, it's not really a nuisance because I'm, I'm there anyway, so. Um, and then it's shopping. Um, I'm just hoping that she's feeling better. Um, well, she wasn't really poorly on Monday when I took her to the wool shop and we did all that. Um, she just wasn't there mentally if you know what I mean um she wasn't particularly sharp and with it she got very very easily confused and um, forgot where we were going why we were going within the space of a couple of minutes really um but she's she's managed to bark a shin and she's taken a big chunk of skin off her off her left shin um, and I'm just hoping that she's not got an infection. We put antiseptic and whatever type of creams that we could get our hands on on Monday. Um, hydrocortisone and antiseptic this and antiseptic that and whatever. And then got a wound plaster over the top of it. So I'm just hoping it's had a few days. I'll take a look at it when I get there and see whether or not it looks like it's on the mend. Fingers crossed we certainly don't want another cellulitis kind of event going off. It's the last thing we need.
So mum was in good spirits today, fairly coherent. So we had a good shopping trip. I've just dropped her back off, helped her unpack all her bags, changed a few light bulbs that needed doing. <laughs> and now on my way home for lunch. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget, you can access your exclusive angel-only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.